Hi everyone, welcome back to another session of RBI 247, wherein we discuss finance current affairs which are relevant for RBI and SEBI exam. Let's get on with today's session. Today, we are going to talk about three very important news for RBI grade B exam. The first one is Paytm Payment Bank gets RBI not to operate as a Bharat Bill Payment Operating Unit. We will understand what is a Bharat Bill Payment Operating Unit. Right. The second is RBI released Primary Urban Cooperative Bank's Outlook. We will also understand here what is the entire structure of cooperative banks. The third is SEBI moots ASPA-like payment system for secondary market stock trade. This is a very interesting news. Now let's get on with the first news today. It is about Paytm Payment Bank. So Paytm Payment Bank ko final approval mil gaya hai RBI ka to become a Bharat Bill Payment Operating Unit. Right? To function as a Bharat Bill Payment Operating Unit. Earlier, Paytm Payment Bank had an in-principle approval from RBI, but now it has got a final approval from RBI. Right? This works under the, Bharat, uh, the Payment and Settlement System Act 2007. We all know Bharat Bill Payment System, Payment Settlement System Act ke under aata hai. Right? Now, what is this Bharat Bill Payment System? What are we talking about here? Jo Bharat Bill Payment System hai, it is nothing but a one-stop one solution for you to make payments for your bills. Both recurring and non-recurring bills, right? So, whatever your bill payment is, you can make it through Bharat Bill Payment System, right? What kind of payments or bill payments we are talking about here? DTH transactions, right? DTH payment, you do with cable connection, ki, right? Electricity bill, or if you've purchased something and EMI amount dena hai har mahine or har every quarter, right? So, these kind of recurring transactions or recurring payments of bills can be done through the Bharat Bill Payment System, right? It provides an interoperable and accessible anytime, anywhere payment service to all customers. Okay. So earlier it was only online. The operating units only used to give online service, but now it also gives an offline service. This works as a bank correspondence. This offline service works as a bank's correspondent, right? So pehle sirf online service hoti thi under operating units. Now we can also make offline service. Ab samaj lete hai ye operating unit kya hai? Bharat bill payment operating unit kya hai? Okay. So we've learned what is Bharat bill payment system. Let's see what is the role of NPCI. NPCI kya kar raha hai? NPCI is an umbrella organization, right? It works as an umbrella organization, which is responsible for making payment and settlement system, right? Infrastructure for payment and settlement system. Also, ek bohut hi zada reformed, act, reformed decision tha ye by RBI and IBA, Indian Bank Association. RBI and Indian Bank Association together brought out NPCI for payment and retail payments and settlement in India. Okay. Now, NPCI was brought as a non-profit organization under Section 8 of Companies Act. This can be asked in your exam. NPCI was brought as a not non-profit organization under Section 8 of Companies Act 2013. Important data, right? Ab, ye system work kaise karta hai? Currently, there is one Bharat Bill Payment Central Unit. There is one central unit and there are multiple Bharat Bill Payment Operating Units. These are operating units, right? These operating units are responsible for facilitating your bill payment. Like now, Paytm Payment Bank has got an approval to work as an operating unit. Right? So they facilitate your transactions. You can make bill payments through operating units. Right? But the central unit hai, it is re responsible for bringing guidelines or setting standards for these operating units. Right? Is central unit ka kya role hai? The central unit is responsible for setting standards. Also for marketing this Bharat Bill Payment System. Right? Is ki promotion, is ki marketing, standards lana. Also onboarding. Onboarding of these units. So central unit jo hai, it is responsible for onboarding these operating units. Currently, the central unit is NPCI Bharat Bill Payment Limited. So NPCI Bharat Bill Payment Limited is the central unit. And operating units get approval from RBI to become operating units. Ye aapki payments ko facilitate karte hai. 
right you can make payments under this system dbps system using these operating units right these will be authorized operating units working under the set standards standards set by bharat bill payment central unit i hope central unit ka function samajh aa gaya hoga let's understand the features of this bharat bill payment operating units number 1 it is accessible in both digital and physical platforms right digitally or online and offline dono transactions provide karte hain aapko dono kind of standards ek standard set hai by the central unit and operating units are supposed to go by these standards set right they work under the brand of bharat bill payment so the bharat bill payment operating units work under this brand right also complaint management easy ho jati hai here because of the bharat bill payment system right it provides a one point access these operating units provide a one point access for all kinds of bill payments now you don't have to go regularly to banks to make transactions or to make bill payments right sare payments one point access pe aap kar sakte hain chahe wo kisi bhi type ki payment ho right these are cost effective saves cost and they are interoperable right wherever you are you can use them and also bahut type ki payments aapki under this one platform you can access all kind of payment all kind of transactions for various bills second news rbi has released primary urban cooperative banks outlook right isse pehle hum ye samajh lete hain what is cooperative banks cooperative banks were brought as an idea of cooperative society theek hai to cooperative society ka ek concept tha cooperative credit society ka ek concept tha wherein members of a particular community they used to come together and Uh, make borrowings and lendings very easily, right? A uh, particular, जो भी उनका interest rate होता था, right? And lending and borrowing, these were these were cheaper than the market rate, and also because it was a community, that is why a cooperative credit societies पहले बनती थी, and the cooperative bank का concept was born out of these societies only, right? These cooperative banks fall under the Cooperative Societies Act of the state, right? they are registered under the cooperative societies act of the state talking about this report this is an annual publication ek annual publication hai rbi ki this one is the ninth volume currently is year ki 21 to 22 in this outlook uh, rbi talks about primary urban cooperative banks ki balance sheet profit and loss account and jo bhi transactions not the specific transactions but in broad what has been the balance sheet like let's understand the structure of prime uh, primary urban cooperative banks and firstly cooperative banks ka in general see the cooperative banks are divided into ucbs and rcbs urban cooperative banks and rural cooperatives banks okay jo urban cooperative banks hai they are further divided into scheduled and not scheduled and further into multi state single state right this structure is the older structure ab ye structure change ho gaya hai we will learn in a minute what has been the new structure talking about rural cooperatives they are divided into short term and long term short term ke andar short term uh, state cooperative banks district cooperative banks these are divided as per area okay rural cooperative banks are divided firstly on short term and long term basis and then on area basis right state cooperative banks district cooperative banks primary agriculture cooperative societies okay this is for agriculture purpose talking about long term this is state cooperative agriculture and rural development banks and primary cooperative agriculture and rural development banks now this outlook is only talking about urban cooperative banks okay so this is the new structure of urban cooperative banks very recently the urban cooperative banks are divided into four tier structure Firstly, ये four tier structure आया क्यों? Let's understand that. See, the earlier structure, the deposits and the size of banks was very diverse. जो deposit size था and the size of all these banks was very diverse. So these deposits ranged from very small amount of deposit to very large amount of deposit. बहुत ज़्यादा diverse structure था. So for better regulation. and to provide a broader framework rbi decided to bring a four tier structure ab deposit ke hisab se banks will be included in all these tiers right in either of uh, the four tiers okay so on the basis of deposits ab bahut easy ho jayega inko regulate karna on the basis of deposits 
firstly categorization ho gayi hai of all these ucbs as per their deposit size so if the deposit is up to 100 crore they fall under tier 1 category categorization ho gayi hai right ucbs with deposits of more than 100 and less than 1000 under tier 2 in tier 3 there are ucbs with deposits more than 1000 crore and less than 10000 crore and in tier 4 UCBs with deposit amount of more than ten thousand crore. Like I said, in case of deposit amount, it was very diverse, and now a categorization, a structured categorization, has been done by RBI. Now let's look at this outlook. Firstly, period yaad rakna twenty one to twenty two ka outlook hai, right? So this is the structure on which this outlook has been made, right? Okay, let's look at the non-performing assets of UCBs. If you look at the all UCBs. Including both scheduled and non-scheduled UCBs, the yeah. So the NPS have decreased from twelve percent. The NPS have decreased to nine point seven percent, and the net NPS have also decreased. Talking about provisions, the provisions has increased. Increased. The provisioning coverage ratio has increased. Right. So even if the GNPA is falling, you uh, UCBs have maintained a better provision over. the last two years right provisions jo hai increase hue hain even with the fall in gnpa right gnpas have fallen but the provisions has increased which means they are working resiliently what is provisioning coverage ratio i explained it earlier as well a percentage of funds is maintained by banks on the basis of their gross non performing assets apne funds mein se banks keep a certain percentage aside why because of gross npas ओके, सो प्रोविजंस यूसीबीज़ ने बहुत ज़्यादा बनाए हैं एस कंपेयर्ड टू द अर्लियर पीरियड। ओके, टॉकिंग अबाउट द एडवांसेस ऑफ यूसीबीज़ टू प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर। व्हाई इस प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर इम्पोर्टेंट? सो एंड व्हाट इस प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर फर्स्टली? So these sectors of the economy, firstly, are very important sectors because they have a ripple effect on the economy, right? And also, RBI categorizes all these sectors as priority sector which means banks have to prioritarily lend to these sectors to promote these sectors theek hai in sectors ke promotion ke liye in yahan pe lend karna bahut zyada important hai for all banks it is mandatory to lend to priority sector so ucbs ka msme mein sabse zyada contribution hai ucbs ke loan ka towards priority sector out of all the loans to the priority sector the maximum has been to msmes right then also to housing and also to other categories also to agriculture ye hamari assumption hoti hai ki ucbs jo hai sabse zyada agriculture ko loan dete honge but no ucb sabse zyada msme sectors ko under the priority sector have been lending to msmes okay now talking about roa that is return on asset and return on equity if you see All urban cooperative banks ne ROE and ROAs both have increased from 0.2 to 0.4, right? Both have increased. Now, what does ROA and ROE return on asset is nothing but net income when compared to total assets of UCBs. Net income as compared to the total assets of UCBs, right? This is return on assets. Similarly, return on equity is net income when compared with shareholders' equity. Okay. Net income when compared with shareholders' equity is nothing but return on equity. Then again, net interest margin bhi increase hua hai from two point four to two point seven percentage. The amount is not important, but the trend is important. UCBs may net interest margin increase hua hai return on assets and return on equity has also increased. Right? What is net interest margin? See, banks jo hai they give loans to borrowers, right? And on these loans they earn interest amount. They get interest amount. and they receive deposits they receive deposits right and on these deposits banks have to pay interest right a difference between these interest both interest becomes nothing but net interest margin a difference between the interest received by banks and the interest paid by banks to deposits is nothing but net interest margin 
ओके सो दिस वॉज द न्यूज अबाउट अर्बन कॉपरेटिव बैंक हमने पढ़ लिया वॉट इज रिटर्न ऑन एसेट हाउ हैज इट इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज ऑल्सो द अर्बन कॉपरेटिव बैंक का एडवांसेस टूवर्ड्स प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर एंड दी एन पी एस ऑफ यू सी बीज ओके लेट्स गेट ऑन विद थर्ड एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज सेबी सेबी हैज प्रपोज अ फ्रेमवर्क फॉर शिफ्टिंग टू अ न्यू पेमेंट सिस्टम विच इज द एजबा लाइक पेमेंट सिस्टम Sebi is moving towards Asba like payment system for secondary market. Ye yaad rakhna this is for secondary market. Let's understand what is Asba like payment system. Ek new payment system aaya hai which is like Asba. What is Asba? Application supported by blocked amount. It is nothing but application supported by blocked amount. This is the full form. Okay, this can be asked in your exam, and the concept as well is very important, right? So, asba kya hota hai? When a company issues new shares in the market, right? Primary market me, jab a company IPO issue karti hai, IPO offer karti hai, right? This is initial public offering. Jab a company new shares issue karti hai, IPO me, and there are applicants, they want to get these shares. from the company right they pay a certain amount let's say x amount they have paid so asba mein kya hota hai an amount is not paid up front ek amount aapke account se block ho jata hai an amount is blocked the application amount is blocked from your account it is not paid to the company yet right it is blocked from your account and only when you get the shares allotted jab aapko ye shares allot honge only then you will uh, this amount will be deducted from your account right ye amount deduct kab hoga aapke account se only when the shares are allotted uh, to usse pehle kya hoga this amount will only be blocked in your account right it will not be debited from your account debit kab hoga after you get the shares allotted right so this is application supported by blocked amount so that amount is blocked in your account only and it is debited only when you get these shares allotted ab ye abhi tak primary market mein hota tha but sebi wants to bring an asba structure in the secondary market as well sebi wants ki ek asba structure secondary market mein bhi aa jaye jahan pe trading of shares and securities hota hai right but for now sebi has brought an asba like payment system now what is this asba like payment system ek bar ye samajh lete hain so very recently rbi allowed upi to have multi block and single sorry single block and multi debit system single block multi debit system in upi तो अब UPI ट्रांजैक्शंस जो आपकी रेकरिंग ट्रांजैक्शंस होती हैं और नॉन रेकरिंग ट्रांजैक्शंस UPI में वो इस मेथड से हो सकती है दिस इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ RBI सिंगल ब्लॉक एंड मल्टी डेबिट अंडर दिस अ सर्टेन अमाउंट विल बी ब्लॉक्ड फ्रॉम योर अकाउंट एंड इट विल ओनली बी डेबिटेड ऑन अ सर्टेन डेट ऑफ पेमेंट व्हेन द पेमेंट इज ड्यू राइट तो UPI के थ्रू अब ये ट्रांजैक्शंस हो सकती है Now what Sebi wants is कि ये RBI ने अप्रूव कर दिया है UPI को Now this system will be utilized in the secondary market. This is what Sebi wants. So Sebi is aiming to leverage the new multi debit facility for the UPI which was approved by RBI. Like I said RBI ने recent monetary policy में UPI को ये approval दिया है कि ये multi debit facility लेके आ सके सिंगल ब्लॉक एंड मल्टी डेबिट फैसिलिटी नाउ सेबी वांट्स टू लेवरेज दिस फैसिलिटी इन द सेकेंडरी मार्केट राइट दिस इज समथिंग लाइक द एसबा ओनली दैट इज व्हाई सेबी जो है एसबा लाना चाहती है मूविंग फर्दर बट राइट नाउ सेबी इज ब्रिंगिंग दिस यूपीआई फैसिलिटी ओके इसको लेवरेज करना चाहती है इंटीग्रेट करना चाहती है बोथ ऑफ दीज को ओके प्रेजेंट अभी क्या होता है सेकेंडरी मार्केट में राइट वी आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट द सेकेंडरी मार्केट वॉट हैपन्स प्रेजेंटली इज that your amount the amount is transferred to your broker jiski wajah se broker can sometimes misuse your amount to so, abhi aapka amount jo hai wo broker ke account mein chala jata hai but sebi wants ki jo amount hai it stays in your account only in your account only and not to the broker's amount because then broker cannot misuse your amount and also cannot use this amount for his own purposes right ye amount broker ke paas nahi jana chahiye ye aapke account se hi blocked rehna chahiye and it can be debited in a future date so presently 
an investor has to make an upfront fund transfer to its broker before initiating any trade right ab isme problem bahut aati thi therefore there were many certain risks involved for example wrongful withdrawal by client of client's cash wrongful withdrawal sometimes the broker used to wrongfully withdraw the amount and misuse the amount as well si case hua tha the kravi case in 2019 i suppose right so broker ko bahut zyada penalize kara tha under this because he or she the, the broker was misusing this right so with the asba amount a money from the applicant's account is deducted on allocation of ipo so ye asba mein abhi presently hota hai on ipo only but the currently ab upi mein bhi ye allow kar diya hai सिंगल ब्लॉक एंड सिंगल अभी तक जो है वो रेकरिंग एंड सिंगल ब्लॉक एंड सिंगल डेबिट होता था बट नाउ इट विल बी सिंगल ब्लॉक एंड मल्टी डेबिट राइट ये आरबीआई ने अप्रूवल दिया था नाउ विद द न्यू सिंगल ब्लॉक एंड मल्टी डेबिट कस्टमर्स कैन ब्लॉक मल्टीपल ट्रांजेक्शन फॉर अ स्पेसिफिक पर्पज ओके सो आरबीआई हैड गेव गेव अप्रूवल टू यूपीआई जिसकी वजह से दिस sebi wants to converge into the secondary market okay what are the benefits it safeguards the market from risks emanating from brokers brokers ki wajah se bahut zyada risk hota tha and also this will encourage confidence in investors it will increase the depth of depth of the securities market more investors will be attracted towards investing and trading okay this this brings us to the end of the session let's also discuss questions before that you can download our app anujindal.in you can get all the information about various exams on this app okay the first question is which of the statements given above is are incorrect about npci npci ki baat ho rahi hai yahan pe given below hona chahiye given below is incorrect about npci npci is brought by rbi and iba under the provisions of payment and settlement system act 2007 it is a correct statement npci is a regulatory organization like rbi it is a non profit organization under section 8 of the companies act okay non profit organization under section 8 of companies act npci bharat bill payment limited functions as authorized bharat bill payment operating unit no it functions as central unit right so npci works as the central unit okay this is about bharat bill payment system as of now only recurring transactions are allowed on bbps wrong recurring and both non recurring transactions are allowed it offers interoperable and accessible payment service the bbps allows interoperable and accessible payment service correct it provides facility to consumers only via digital transactions a wrong statement both digital and offline transactions physical and digital transactions both are allowed now okay Sebi has recently proposed usage of ASBA like payment system in the secondary trading market how has this how will this impact the secondary trading in india the new system would safeguard the market from risk emanating from default by brokers pehle brokers bahut zyada default karte the that will be benefited yes this move will increase the depth depth of securities market yes with this move sebi will leverage the single block and multi debit mechanism of the upi तो एसबा लाइक पेमेंट सिस्टम में यूपीआई का जो नया फ्रेमवर्क आया है बाय बी आरबीआई दिस विल बी लेवरेज्ड बाय सेबी ओके एज पर द रिसेंटली रिलीज्ड प्राइमरी अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक्स आउटलुक फॉर दिस ईयर 2021 2022 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स इज आर इनकरेक्ट द पब्लिकेशन कवर्स फाइनेंशियल अकाउंट्स ऑफ शेड्यूल्ड अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक्स एंड नॉट अनशेड्यूल्ड यूसीबीस रॉन्ग बोथ शेड्यूल्ड एंड नॉन शेड्यूल्ड अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक्स the publication provides information on major items of balance sheet and profit and loss account this is correct see these kind of questions can be asked in your exam ki ye jo publication hai iska purpose kya hai so this is the purpose to provide major items information on major items of balance sheet and profit and loss account as per the report return on equity of ucbs have been falling since 2012 no return on equity and return on asset also net interest margin all of these have increased in last one year so this statement is wrong okay that brings us to the end of the session i hope you enjoyed it thank you